DNC chair candidate Tom Perez was confronted by Zaid Jelani of The Intercept, who does fantastic work, by the way, and he was asked about his controversial stance on Israel. And like the coward that he is, Tom Perez decided to just walk away mid-interview. Take a look. I saw your question about the uh, the BDS movement. It's really interesting. That's a debate a lot of Democrats are having. Oh, is that right? A lot of people across the country are having. Uh, it's interesting. People are quick to condemn the BDS movement, but there's also been uh, sort of really strong actions against human rights by Israel. For example, 1,600 oh. Palestinians lost their homes no, last absolutely. year to home demolitions. I, I understand. Would you, would that you condemn, uh, do you condemn the home issue. demolitions just yeah. like you would condemn it's, BDS? Is that type of stuff? Secretary, would you condemn the home demolitions by Benjamin Netanyahu? Uh, Secretary, do you do you also condemn the expansion of settlements? Secretary Perez. Secretary Perez, do, do you feel like you can represent Arab Americans? Who, who so that right there is everything you need to know about how Tom Perez would govern as DNC chair. If you don't realize what he did there, he walked away as soon as Zayi brought up human rights. He just walked away and started to ignore him. And uh, he wouldn't even condemn the demolition of Palestinian homes or the expansion of settlements. Just walked away and ignored Zayid. Okay, let me ask you this. If you if you can't condemn human rights violations, Tom Perez, then what do you even stand for? If you can't speak out against illegal settlements that have been condemned by the international community and the UN, then what do you even stand for? The Democratic Party is supposed to be about lowering the playing field for everyone. They're supposed to be about speaking out for the oppressed and the marginalized. And if you can't speak out for Palestinians who are being oppressed, whose territorial sovereignty is being violated, who is on the right side of the international law, then what do you even stand for? Why are you running to be the DNC chair? All right, we already know why Tom Perez is running. Uh, it's because the establishment basically uh, pushed him into this position because they don't want someone like Keith Ellison to take over. Well, Keith Ellison is basically a Democratic Party yes man as well, uh, but they just want to really make sure that the party continues with this corporatist path that they've been going on uh, since basically the 70s, but mostly since Bill Clinton became president. Now, now, if you've seen any interviews with Tom Perez, he has been confronted and he acts weird. He tries to, uh, you know, evade the question. He did this before when he was confronted about the TPP. So he he's just an awkward, weird person. So, I mean, if you're DNC chair, I'm not, this isn't just an ad hominem attack, but if you're the DNC chair and we have a question for you and we're trying to press you on something, are you just going to walk away from us? Are you just going to ignore the questions that we have if we need to put pressure on you? I mean, look. Debbie Wasserman Schultz, regardless if you love her or hate her, she never walked away from an interview as far as I know. She always answered questions even as she gave platitudes or non-answers. She at least stayed and answered the question. You are looking to be worse than Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Tom. So how do you expect to lead a party if you can't even answer a simple question? If you can't even condemn human rights abuses? The answer is... You can't lead a party and you're not fit to be the DNC chair, so you need to withdraw because nobody wants you here. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.